All right. Hey, what's up, bubblers? Uh, so there is an uh, an error that happens with the Zano connector, and uh, it's a it's one that uh, I'm not able to fix at the plugin level because it's a um, it's it's in the way that Bubble manages uh, or processes data when we try to uh, publish data back out to the uh, to the element, and so. Um, but it's, it's one that I keep seeing uh, coming up. I think it's fairly persistent and is confusing people. And I just saw this on the forum today. Uh, it's like I missed this um, about 10 days ago. And then a couple other people mentioned it. Um, and uh, I have the solution for it. And so that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I'll show you what the solution is. But what what is happening here is called the error is undefined. is not iterable when... Uh, well, not when updating, this is a specific title, but um, it's uh, undefined is not iterable. And uh, what that simply means is that uh, there is an array in the uh, collection that you, or the, the custom data type that you set up in the API connector that Bubble is expecting that you're not, uh, that Xano is not sending back. So let me just show you uh, what I mean. So if we go into uh, plugins here, I have um, a API connector, and I have this data type set up here in the Xano user. And if we click in there, you can see it's looking for, you know, all this data: the ID, created date, name, email, and then this role, which is an array, right? So um, it's expecting there to be an array of text here, or a list, you know, in, in bubble terminology, a list of text. Um, and then this, but we don't need that. We can get rid of that. Uh, but these, you know, this data. So if we save that, uh, we have everything already predefined here. And then we jump into Xano. You can see I have a uh, a user type here, right? And so in this user type, I have you know all those ID, the date, the name, email. Um, and then this role, which is this role is an array of, of texts, essentially just uh, simple text uh, values that are being sent back or in a list of texts. And we can go into the actual uh, API call. And this is, uh, this is the endpoint, right, where you're gonna call, you're gonna get that list of records. And if we run and debug this, you'll see that's what, exactly what we're getting. We're getting all this data back uh, we jump back over here, the same thing, right? This looks very similar. And so what we have here uh, will work properly. And I'll demonstrate that here. Let's cancel out of that. Sorry, we've got uh, uh, people having a good time around this. So um, if you're hearing all the, all the extracurricular noise here. Um, if we go back in here into uh, the main page, so I have uh, a Xano query set up. It's calling that endpoint. It's returning that Xano user type. And then I have a table here that is Xano user. It's getting that this data from that Xano queries data. And then just you know three, uh, three columns, name, email, and roles. Uh, so if we go over here, we refresh this page. You see everything works perfectly, right? We've got the name. Uh, first name, we've got the email, and then we've got a list of roles for each user. Now, what will happen, though, is if we go into Xano, and let's just change the response that we're returning for this query of records. Uh, so we go in here, uh, just click into the query, go into output, and then click customize, right? So this is going to say we're going to change uh, what we're sending back. And so we have this role, and just just to uh, remind you here in the database user this role is our uh, is our list of admins so we'll go back over here click back into that query this is again that endpoint that we're pulling the users from and let's change our let's customize our output and we're just going to turn that role field off right so let's save that and if we run and debug this now you can see we're getting all the information back, but we're not getting that that list, that array of roles. 
So let's go ahead and publish this so that it is live. And we'll jump back over here. This is the same page, uh, if you recall. The exact same uh, page. We haven't done anything. There's not even an update banner. Let's just refresh this screen. And, okay, so now you can see, obviously, we didn't get any data. Um, the table has not extended. And we have this little error icon down here in the bottom right. Just click there. And now we can see uh, the plugin Xano connector element Xano query through the following error type error undefined is not iterable. Um, and so to, to just say simply what's happening here is bubble because we have uh, in the plugin because we have defined here in the plugin that this user this data type will have an, an array in the role field or this list. Uh, even if we don't return this role property and an array, it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to have anything in it. So um, it can just be an empty array like that, right? Um, and that would work, but it cannot be a null array. So it can't look like that and it can't just not exist because bubble will try to iterate, right? It's gonna to go to try to take that array and they're gonna to try to process it. And if there's nothing there, that's where the undefined. So it's saying, hey, there's nothing defined where there, where this role property is supposed to be. And so we weren't able to, to iterate over it. Um, and so the good thing is it's a, it's a simple fix. Uh, you just need to make sure that the response that you're returning and just kind of a side note, um, add-ons are a big, uh, a big driver of this. If you're using add-ons in your Xeno responses, just make sure that if you're if you're using add-ons and that you know it's a potential for it to not return anything, um, add-ons will return null arrays. So uh, make sure that the response anywhere there's supposed to be an array is number one included. Um, so we'll just turn this roll back on. Make sure, it, number one, that it's included. And uh, number two, that it is an empty array or has content that's not, it, that's not a null array. So if we just go back, we'll refresh this now. And it's all working perfectly again, exactly like it should. And that error is gone. So uh, hopefully that helps. Um, I know it's kind of a, uh, a frustrating workaround or a frustrating thing that you have to, to manage, but there's uh, currently nothing we can do um, from the plugin side to to change this or process it. Trust me, I've tried. Um, and uh, yeah, hope that helps. Cheers, guys.